Hi, welcome back to Neural Splendor. Tonight I wanted to talk about long-term idling and cold weather. Uh, to me, long-term idling is anything really over 20 minutes. You should ramp that RPM up to keep that after-treatment system as trouble-free as possible. It is not good for them to run at base idle in, in a long-term and cold weather because the, the system gets inefficient. So if you're driving an ISX, 15, 12, or 11, 9, or the newer generation of the same engine, the X15 or the X12, you want to run that uh, idle speed up to about 950 RPM if you're idling long term. If you have a mid range engine, which would be your ISC, ISB, the ISL9, the L9, which is the newer ISL9 or an ISB 6.7, 2350, or 2450, those engines need to idle at 1,050 RPM long term. You also need to make an adjustment on your after treatment. The parameters, you need to enable something. I'm going to put that up now so you can see that. The first thing you need to know, and this is very important, when we talk about PTO mode, we're talking about engine speed. We are not talking about engaging your mechanical PTO drive that's bolted on a transmission. You do not turn that on for long-term idle. We're referencing engine speed, Cummins ECMs, engine speed changes have to be in modes, and when it's ramped up above idle, they call that PTO mode. So, the next thing you have to do when you're going to long-term idle is you have to open features and parameters go and click the plus in front of the word after treatment. If diesel particulate filter, which is under after treatment, has a plus in front of it, click it so it turns to a minus. Minus just means it opens up the next level. Look for active regeneration in PTO and remote modes. If the word disable is after it under ECM value, you need to click, click it. It'll become a drop down and choose enable and then you save it to the ECM. This will allow the engine to regen if it needs to while you're sleeping and it's at fast idle. More on that later.